boom. You know, I've seen them do a lot of dense stuff in my day, but chewing a rock, that takes the cake. What about the time he got his face stuck in his food bowl? Or the time he swallowed his tail. Or the time he... Okay, look, Niblet might do a lot of goofy things, but trust me, there's a method to his nibletness. <laughs> Well, well, Ketchum, what kind of unadoptable scruffy street mutt have you brought us today? <laughs> Where did all these puppies come from? It looked like they were transferred from the Uptown Pounce. And before that, they were at the Mid City Pounce. And before that, they were at the Southeast Mid Central Pounce. Oh, great. Nobody else can get them adopted, so they dump them on me. Well, no thank you. Ah, but they're so cute. Can't we keep them? Please? No! I've got important things to do. And if none of those other shelters want them, then, well, send them to Sunshine Springs. Sunshine Springs? Sunshine Springs? Welcome to Sunshine Springs. Wanna adopt a puppy? All right, then. Eat yourself. That pound's out in the middle of nowhere. Relax. Nobody's going to Sunshine Springs. I've got it all worked out. Wait, wait, wait. You knew these pups were coming? I've got my sources. You clever, clever dog. That's right. Six puppies. You'll be here in six hours? Oh, excellent. <laughs> Put these things in the kennel, Olaf. Keep them quiet. I have a very important meeting to prepare for. Here, puppy, come on. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to put you in the kennel to the strange man from the middle of nowhere, pick you up, and no other human being will ever see you again. <laughs> Seriously, don't worry. I've got it all figured out. Six puppies? Uh, adopted by three o'clock? I don't know, Lucky. Guys, come on. I've got a plan that'll make you slobber. Strudel, do you still have that laser machine you were working on? You mean this old thing? My microwave laser pulse cannon data processing decombobulator. Your what? It scrambles McLeish's internet dating sessions. Just a little something I do for fun in my spare time. Do you think you could adjust it to intercept a satellite communication system? I don't see why not. Great. Squirt, I'm going to need you to find me a portable mirror. Cookie, train me up a team of squirrels for a swing by off the main fence. Niblet, I have a special task for you. I'm on it. Oh, what is it? You know all those rocks you've stored up to chew on? I want you to move every one of them out in front of the main gate. ASAP. I don't know what ASAP means, but I'll do it as soon as possible. I don't get it, Lucky. How's this all going to work? What, do you want me to ruin the surprise? Now, come on. Let's go, dogs, go. I love it when he talks that way. It's almost like you could see the gears of genius working in his brain. Uh, sure, that, that's how I'm in it, yeah. Little more. Little more. Stop. Okay, Lucky. Squirt's got the mirror aimed at the angle you told him. The squirrels are ready. The laser is aimed. Now, do you mind telling me the plan in your head? Well, I'll tell you part of it. Oh, come on. Today is the first Wednesday of the sixth month of the year, right? Right. Which means McLeish has taken his car in for an oil change. So? So, he had to ride his scooter to work today, and he has his quarterly lunch meeting downtown, which means he has to leave in three two places everyone Olaf you're in charge while I'm gone yes sir Mr. McLeish now come out this city of its horrible pavement ready the laser laser ready now, if I could just get this thing open before the police realizes he... Did I do good lucky, did I? Never, no! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Hey, Strudel, your machine's acting kind of funny. Get up! Get up! 
Lucky, are you okay? What happened to him? This is a fine time to be taking a nap. He's not taking a nap. The beam, I, I wasn't in position to zap the satellite. Instead, it zapped Lucky right in the head. Am I okay? No, I am not okay. Because I did not catch this furry villain yet. <laughs> Come back here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, you fast tail, you. What's happened to him? Unless I am mistaken, the only data system that has become scrambled is Lucky's brain. Yeah, but on the other hand, I think he's gonna catch that tail. Just you watch. Chop, chop, chop. I love rocks. Rocks love me. Rocks are really tasty in a bottle. I love rocks too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's even more of an ignoramus than Niblet. This can't be happening. Actually, it makes perfect sense. The laser was designed to interrupt data processing. And data processing is a large part of what the brain does. So you're saying Lucky's been made into a dunce? For how long? I imagine it should wear off after a couple of days. But we don't have a couple of days. We've got to get these puppies adopted by 3 o'clock. <laughs> Lucky, you have to tell us the next part of the plan. You got it. What plan is that? The plan you had in your head, but you didn't tell anyone about even when we begged you? Oh, yeah, that plan. I have no idea. Olaf, Olaf! What is it, Mr. McLeish? I've lost my briefcase, and I can't go to my meeting without it. I wonder where it could be. Who knows? I had it this morning. Hey, maybe I left it on my desk. I'm getting this thing downstairs before McLeish figures out we've got it. What about him? <laughs> Look at you guys. You just like miniature dogs. Oh, what will the dog makers think of next? Him too. Hurry. Lucky, it's time to head downstairs. It's warm down there, and there's lots of nice things to play with. Like balls and sticks? Oh, sure. And bones? Ah, we've got some nice bones. How about my tail? Uh, no, actually, your tail's up here. Then I am not going down. Not unless we bring. I got it, Lucky. I got it. Oh, thanks, buddy. Let's go. If he doesn't get better, I'm putting him for a transfer. I'm telling you, Olaf, I remember putting that briefcase on the back of my scooter. It's got to be around here somewhere. A comb? A kazoo? A rubber froggy? Why do humans keep this stuff? I have no idea. <laughs> Except for the froggy. <laughs> <laughs> The real question is how was Lucky going to use this junk for his plan? There's only one way to find out. We have to fix the laser, reverse the procedure, make Lucky smart again, and ask him. Can you do it by 3 o'clock? I can try. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Strudel, fix the machine. Right. Squirt, see if you can figure out what all that stuff is for. You got it. Niblet, take care of Lucky. Me? But I can't take care of Lucky. I mean, he's Lucky, and I'm just Niblet. He's the one who's always taking care of me. Look, Lucky's not himself right now. You have to be the responsible one for him, all right? For your friend? Gee, if Lucky needs me. He does, Niblet, so take him upstairs and make sure he doesn't do anything you wouldn't do. I, I, I mean, make sure he doesn't do anything I wouldn't do. Got it? Got it. Good. Hey, Lucky, want to do something fun? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Like lie in the sun and chew your foot? Oh, I don't know. Doing two things at once? That sounds hard. That's okay. I could teach you. Hooray! Got anything figured out? Well, maybe Lucky was planning to use McLeish's comb here to shoot the beam through, thereby creating half a dozen little beams that would spread out all at once. Why would he do that? I have no idea. I also have no idea why McLeish has a comb. Maybe he was going to use that. That's a nose hair clipper. Ew. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Boy, that was fun. Oh, that was nothing. There's tons of stuff more fun than chewing on your own foot. There are? What, Niblet? What? Well, like, for example... Hmm. Follow me!
All these years of planning missions. Well, I could have been getting my head stuck and falling through the air. Who was that big dope anyway? Don't be so hard on yourself, Lucky. You had important stuff to do. What's more important than getting surprised by the dog face in the bucket with your friend? I've been confounded with logic once again! Oh, I wish things could stay like this forever. Me too, Lucky. Hey, Niblet, Cookie wants to see you right away. Oh, okay. Wait right here, Lucky. And don't move. Whatever you say, Niblet. You're the smart one. Oh, man. I moved my face around to talk. Niblet, you're here. How's Lucky? He's fine. In fact, him and me were talking, and... Yeah, uh, that's great. Now listen, Strudel has figured out how to reverse the machine, but we don't want to scare Lucky with all the scientific mumbo-jumbo, so I need you to go back up there and tell Lucky we want to play a game downstairs in five minutes. Yeah, but... No buts. Five minutes. Got it? Right. Five minutes. Five minutes. Thank goodness. Then we can go back to having just one dunce around this joint. Oh, pretty flowers in the grass. You smell so good, I wish you'd last. But I'm afraid you won't, so I'll eat you fast. <laughs> and now I feel like, like, sassafras. That's it, sassafras. That's just how I feel. And I don't even know what sassafras is. Oh, Nibble, you're so smart. What are we going to do now, huh? Huh? What? Well, to tell you the truth, Lucky, we don't have much time for other stuff right now. We're going to have to go downstairs in a few minutes to, uh, play a game. Oh, boy, a game. I love games. In fact, I love everything as long as I'm doing it with you. Yeah, ab about that, Lucky. See, we might not be hanging out so much anymore. Not like this, anyway. Please, Nibble, it promise me we'll always do stuff like this, no matter what. I can't, Lucky. You see, we're going to have to go back to the way things were before, with you being the leader and making the plans and... Be, well, be eating rocks. But I like eating rocks. Oh, please let me hang out with you and, and do more fun stuff. Nibble, just the two of us, please. I'm sorry, Lucky. I, I can't. Why not? Well, you, hmm, yeah. Actually, why not? Why can't we stay like this? For a while, at least. I mean, it's been great having a friend who likes to do the same stuff I do. And I do. I really do. Okay, then. I have an idea. Which is smart, like always. But you've got to trust me, Lucky. I do, Nimblet. I trust you to do the thinking for both of us. Okay, as soon as Lucky is back to his old self, we'll get him to tell us what he wanted in McLeish's briefcase, and then... Cookie! Cookie! We've got a problem. What now? Remember what I told you Lucky's brain troubles would wear off in a couple of days? Well, I was wrong. Wrong as in more than two days or less than two days? What's the difference anyway? We're going to zap him back in a minute. No, you don't understand. I've been doing some recalculations, and it turns out when I retrofitted the beam splitter, I had to reverse the diodes and... In regular English, Strudel? If we don't change Lucky right away, he'll be a doom cough permanently. You mean like a permadope? I'll get him right now. How much time have we got left? I don't know, 15 minutes, a half hour? I'm not sure. Then there's no time to... Ah! What's going on? Where's Niblet and Lucky? Ask them. Mr. Niblet told us to tell you, <clears throat> don't look for us. We run away and we're not coming back. Run away? But if we don't change him back right away... Lucky could be like Niblet from now on. See? That's what I said. Just like that. Where are we going, Niblet? Huh? Huh? Where are we going? On an adventure, Lucky. To a place where dogs like us can run and play and do whatever we want. And nobody can tell us what to do? That's right. Nobody. It's no use. Their mud prints end here. And it looks like they walked down into the drainage ditch, making it virtually impossible to follow their scent. Quite clever, actually. That big dope isn't as dense as I thought. I'm talking about Niblet, by the way, just in case you're wondering. This is all so vexing. Where could they have gone? Where? Wait a minute. What's the one thing Niblet loves more than anything? I don't know. Bacon? Gravy. Cherries. Mud. Churches. Lead. A duck. What? No. What is wrong with you dogs? What he likes best are rocks. Niblet's gone to the rocks. 
and I know where all the biggest rocks are. Come on. Wow, just look at all them rocks. There's gotta be like 13 of them. Yeah. Uh, we can live here forever, Lucky. Just you and me, chewing rocks and having fun. Aw, oh, there's nothing more funner than chewing rocks, Diblet. Dibs on the gray one. No. Dibs on the other gray one. Stop. <laughs> Niblet! Niblet! Hey, Lucky! Uh, how about you go down into the quarry over there, huh? There's some really rocky rocks to chew down that way. I will chew them all to pieces. Boy, this place is pretty huge. It could take a while to find them. Get out of here, you guys! Or not. Go on! This is a place for dummies! Like me and my friend Lucky! Niblet, listen. You've got to let us take Lucky back. No! For once in my life, I've got a friend who looks up to me, who treats me like I'm smart, who has fun with me just because I'm me. And that dog is Lucky. But, Niblet, it isn't the real Lucky. Yeah, you don't understand. Oh, I don't, do I? How come? Because I'm some big duncey dunce? Look, uh, I'm sorry I said that earlier, okay? I, I didn't mean it. Seriously, Niblet, our team isn't the same without Lucky. And it won't be the same without you. Lucky might be the brains of Shelter 17, but you're the heart. Just look how you've taken care of Lucky. Cookie makes a valid point. We need both of you. And if we don't reverse the effects on Lucky's brain soon, his change will become permanent. That's okay with me. And it's okay with him, too. Come on, Niblet. Don't you want what's best for your friend? Oh, you guys are right. You're always right. And I'm always wrong. He's just over there. Ah, oh, thanks, pal. You did the right thing. Yes, I did. I threw you off my trail. Because this time you're wrong and I'm right. By the way, he's not where I pointed. That was a fib. Goodbye forever. Well, now I feel like a dummy. Lucky, uh -huh. we got to get out of here. Come on. Get out of here? But look at all these rocks. I know lots of other places with lots of other rocks. Now, come on, let's go. Okay, then, but whatever you say, you always know the right thing to do. I trust you more than anyone. You gotta do, don't you? Sure I do. Don't you trust you, too? Hi, guys. Hey, what are you doing here? We heard you guys ran off. We followed the other guys and snuck around them. We want to run off with you. You can't do that. You got to go to your perfect people. Only, oh, actually, now that I think about it, I'm starting to wonder if I do trust me. The old lucky would have understood if running off and chewing rocks is the right thing to do. Old me sounds really smart. He was. And now that you're not you, well, how would you even know if running off was best for you? If you aren't even being yourself. Ah. Oh, what? Are we going to go now? Sure, little puppy. Listen. You said you trust me, right? I said I did, with my very own moving face. Then we're going to go now. We're going to go to a place that's going to make everyone super happy. Even you, Niblet? Sure, Lucky. Even me. Is it going to hurt? I'll be right here the whole time. Ready? Here goes everything. Lucky, are you all right? What time is it? Ten to three. Quick, we can still make it. Strudel, readjust the machine and hook up the FKD. Squirt, get that mirror topside. Cookie, where's the briefcase? Right there. McLeish's cell phone? What, do you think we want a $5,000 satellite uplink charge on our bill? No, we do not. Squirrels, I need a split connection to the FKD and the machine. This is a disaster, Olaf, a disaster. I've missed my meeting, I've lost my briefcase, and now I'm about to... Hey, my briefcase! Comb, comics, froggy. Look, 
My phone is still here. Thank goodness I didn't lose it. Or your nose hair clippers either. Uh, that's personal, Olaf. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to see if the mayor can still meet me for... What's that? I don't know, sir, but it sounds like... This one's mine! I know it! And this one's mine! Olaf, how did this happen? How do all these kids know about all these puppies? I don't know, Mr. McLeish. It sure is neat, huh? Yeah, real neat. Well, you did it again, Lucky. I don't know how, but you did it. But next time, do me a favor, okay? If I ask you to tell me the whole plan, just tell me, okay? Sure, Cookie. Just remind me next time that I can't do this all alone, all right? You got it. Speaking of which, there's one guy who you really couldn't have done it without. Hey, Nibs. Hey, Lucky. Mind if I have a seat? Pull up a hot. Listen, I don't remember everything that happened in the last few hours, but thank you. For what? For taking care of me, for being a good pal, for doing whatever you did to get me through this. I didn't do much. I have a feeling you did more than you say. You're a good guy, Niblet, and you're a good friend. So were you, Lucky. Were? Are. Well, like I say, thanks. Sure thing. Hey, you wouldn't want to, you know, chew on some rocks, would you? Nothing I'd like more. I love rocks. Rocks I love me. me. Rocks are really tasty and I like to love me. I love rocks. I love rocks too.